Hundreds of elections officials are in Austin this week training with the Texas Secretary of State's office. They are focusing on election security and integrity. County election administrators tell KXAN's Wes Rappaport they're sharing best practices to prevent tampering with Texas elections. Right. I'm getting a lot of information crammed into my brain in three days. Christy Mooney has run the elections and voter registration in Archer County for seven years. She's a one-person operation for roughly 6,270 voters, give or take. And soaking up everything she can while in Austin. Every election official needs to learn the new laws that came out of the legislative session that just happened. Some of those changes include a new cybersecurity assessment for each county's election systems to identify shortcomings. They will come in, we'll assess our county, look at our weaknesses, our vulnerabilities, tell us where we need to set up safeguards and protect ourselves and our counties. We want to make sure that all of our counties, regardless of the support that they have uh, locally, are given some basic security tools to make sure that, that at a minimum we're kind of elevating the whole state. State elections officials say this training, which includes presentations from the Department of Homeland Security, provides consistency at the local level. This year in particular, we're taking a strong focus on election security because that is kind of at the forefront of everybody's minds right now. And so we're doing our best to give them the tools that they need to feel prepared going into 2020. Wes Rappaport, KXAN News. And part of that effort means upgrading technology. The state got a $24 million federal grant last year for infrastructure and cybersecurity upgrades, like a new authentication authentication rather process for registrars accessing voter databases and a new alert system that detects suspicious cyber activity. Last week, a U.S. Senate report showed hackers targeted all 50 states in the 2016 presidential election. The reports also stated that the United States election infrastructure was not ready to fight off interference. So we asked Travis County elections officials what they're doing to protect voters. In November, Travis County will update its voting machines. They will print out a hard paper copy of a ballot for the voter to put into a box. The county spent $9 million on more than 2,000 machines and 450 ballot boxes. No part of the voting system will be connected to the Internet. And today, Hayes County commissioners voted to replace their voting machines. They'll get 400 new hybrid voting machines in the next couple of months. Their machines will not be connected to the Internet either. Gary Cooper will have more details on how the machines work. That's coming up on KXAN News at 6.